Hello and welcome to the uh, first demo video for the Marketing Hub. This is a spreadsheet that we actually give away for nothing on the website, um, but it's quite a large spreadsheet. So in instead of doing one demo video for the whole spreadsheet I've done, I've broken up into seven different demo videos. So this is the demo video which is going to introduce the product, but also to tell you about this intro and setup page. The second video will talk about the campaigns page. The third one, the data input page. Uh, the fourth one will be all of the um, social media pages so Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and your newsletter. And the next one will be the daily Google Analytics. There'll be one for content Google Analytics and one for the two reports because the reports are basically automated. Um, so, yeah, I just want to introduce this spreadsheet for you. This is one that I've been using personally for a while. This isn't the exact one I've been using, I remade it for this version. I had a slightly different one, but it generally did the same thing. What it's here to do <clears throat> is allow you to create marketing campaigns, up to 20 different campaigns. The spreadsheet will last for a year, so you'll basically um, set your campaigns for the year. You can then um, plan content, so you can plan Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts, Twitter posts, YouTube newsletter, those kinds of things. You can plan the posts that you want to post, you can plan when you're going to um, uh, schedule the, the content for social media and then what you do is you can then collect the data from those various social media platforms all your analytical data back into the spreadsheet which will then tell you how successful each post has been but not only that you can collect your data from Google Analytics and I'm going to show you the spreadsheet will help you to create unique links for each of the different um, uh, posts so that you can actually get that, con that Google Analytics data back and you can actually see how many um, clicks there were back onto your website from all of the different, um, uh, from, actually from each different post. So it really, and then that not only shows you per post, but it also then assigns them back to the, the um, campaigns that you've created and shows you which campaigns are more successful. So really it's a massive marketing hub or Facebook, LinkedIn, when I say, say Facebook and LinkedIn, I mean through the business pages, not through personal accounts, uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and then your newsletter. The newsletter, I'm going to show you how to do it for MailChimp. If you've got any other newsletter, you're going to have to get hold of the, the analytics data from whichever newsletter you use, and I'll show you the principles behind how that all works. So that's what the spreadsheet does. It helps you to create the content, but then it also helps you to monitor how successful that content's been all the way back to clicks back to your website using Google Analytics. That's what it does. Let me explain this intro and setup tab because this is the one that you need to do first and actually there's stuff in here that can cause you massive confusion if you don't know what it means. So let me explain it to you. As we go down the intro and setup, your business name, you can put that in there. That just puts your name onto the report. It's nothing too fancy. Starting month, select the starting month and input the starting year as 2020 or whatever year you're in. The reason why you do that is because you can then, this spreadsheet will last you for 12, a 12 month period. So it'll last you for a year and then you need to use a new spreadsheet for the following year. All the reports and everything are set to these years and it'll start on the first day of the month that you select uh, of the year that, that you input. So start that all first and foremost, you can see here what version number this is, what version of this particular spreadsheet is. If this has changed, uh, periodically I would suggest clicking on this link here, going back to the website and actually having a look to see on the website what the latest version is. If the latest version is a later one than what you've got, you can obviously download the new version. Um, I will do my level best not to change the actual layout of the data too much. Um, so if you do upgrade to a newer version, you can simply copy and paste your data across from one spreadsheet to the other. I'll try and keep the layout as, as simple as possible unless it has to change. But just please, 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 please be aware, whatever you're copying and pasting in the spreadsheet, if you're copying anything from an external spreadsheet into this one, or from an external source into the spreadsheet, or from the spreadsheet into the spreadsheet, always, always, always use paste values. Never use normal paste. Normal paste can and will ruin the spreadsheet. Always use paste values. All right, so if you're not sure what paste values is, if you go copy, then you go paste. Not that, that's normal paste. Right click paste values. If you use that one, you can never ruin your spreadsheet. If you use paste, you can.
Uh, right, so you've got your business name, starting month, ending month. Check your version number, that's all good. The only other things left to do are these two at the bottom here. The four-digit code, if you sign up to our newsletter, you get a four-digit code. If you put that four-digit code in there, it will unlock some bonus content on the results report. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't signed up, you can just leave it blank. The spreadsheet will still work. But if you do sign up, which I'd advise, uh, you get some bonus content on the results report. The only real thing you need to look at are these two down here. This here, days before post, what the spreadsheet does is it doesn't actually schedule your content to go on social media. You can plan it here, but you still have to schedule it yourself. This is not linked to your social media account. So what I do is I plan the social media content and then things like Facebook, I use Facebook's own scheduling program to schedule Facebook posts. I use TweetDeck to schedule Twitter and I schedule YouTube on YouTube and because you, you, you can set the date when you want the video to be live. Whereas the newsletter, uh, at the time of shooting this video, MailChimp had removed their scheduling uh, option. So I, I pressed the button to schedule it on the day and LinkedIn I posted on the day as well. So that's why I put here 14 days before and more to more because when I plan a post, when you schedule it, you actually tick it off. You'll see later on, you'll tick it off. And if you get to within 14 days of that post supposed to have been uh, 14 days of that post going live and I haven't scheduled it, I want a reminder to schedule that post. So that's why I put 14 days and that's why I put zero days for LinkedIn the newsletter because those ones I just do on the day. So that is how many days before the post is due to be live on the social media do you want a warning. So I've got two, three of them at two weeks and two at a day uh, on, on the day. Now, this is the important bit. What this is doing is it's asking you essentially the data for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, newsletter, and Google data. This is the, the data that you export from those various platforms that come back into the spreadsheet and tell you how your posts have performed. How do you want to use that data? Do you only want to use the current data that's in the spreadsheet or do you want to add the current data to the existing? Now, this all depends on the layout of the data. Now, what we're going to, when we get this data, and if you have a look at the other videos where, where we discuss uh, specifically the one for the data input, you'll see how the data is laid out. But essentially what you've got is down in the rows, down the first column, you've got all the different posts. And then across the top um, of your of the spreadsheet data, you've got all of the different actions like views and, and clicks and all the rest of it. <clears throat> now, if I set... If you're going to get the data each month, so you're going to download January, download February, download March, and, and update this data on a monthly basis, which is what I do, which is what I recommend you do, because some of the social media platforms only give you a month or two worth of data, so you don't want to leave it too long. If you do it each month, the question you must ask yourself is when you download, say, for argument's sake, January's Facebook data, what does it give you? Does it give you the posts that were posted in January and all of their um, analytics? Or does it give you the, the, the post, but the posts that were viewed in January, regardless of when they were posted? Because if it just gives you January's posts, then you just use the current data. So for argument's sake, Facebook, when I do a, a thing for January, it only gives me the posts posted in January. So it doesn't give me any other posts. That's fine. I can use the current data. When LinkedIn does it, it also gives me the posts that were posted in the month that I select. So And with, with all the updated data so that's fine twitter same story the problem is youtube doesn't youtube gives me the view the the when i do a, a an export of data for january it doesn't give me the videos that were posted in january it gives me all the views that happened in january regardless of when the video was posted so if i then in theory have got a January's data, where I put the views in for the different videos, and then February comes along and I do February, I want to add February onto January. Whereas with Facebook, when I do February's one, I just want February because it's only got February stuff. But YouTube won't. It'll have all the stuff as well. So I want those older ones to update. So that's why I've clicked add current data to existing. So if you add current data to existing, whenever you do an update, it'll check how many views or it'll check your current analytics and I'll add the new stuff onto it. That's what YouTube does. The other ones don't. 
uh, my news data one as well it gives me all the current up-to-date ones uh, depending on when I sent out the news data so it, I don't want to add it on so my advice would be the defaults would be only use current data unless you know what you're doing and you want to add it on for something like YouTube in which case we've changed YouTube to, to get that Google data as well <clears throat> it's similar there's enough space for 5,000 rows of Google data. If you suspect that the number of links back to your website in the whole year isn't going to reach 5,000 from the social media content, then you, then you can actually just do use current data only and just put the current data in. If you say no, you want to do it current data, um, add current data to existing, then what you need to do is each month put the data in, but then make a note if you look at your content that cell there is grayed out. If if uh, you if you were to change um, this in the interim setup to add current data to existing and you go back you can see now it's open because you can then once you've actually put your data in for January for example you can come in here and you can type 31st of January and then you know the next date and the start 1st of Feb so you don't duplicate data because with Google Analytics it doesn't show you post it shows you what views happened during that month so you want to you want to add them onto the previous month add them onto the previous month if that makes sense so essentially leave these as only use current i'm leaving this as only use current for now because i don't think i'll get to 5000 rows but if i were to then i would switch it you can switch it at any stage just clear the data make sure the data is clear then switch it and when you add the new data in it'll add the old one so I hope that that all makes sense. It is a little bit confusing. I was going to automate this and just do it, but then I thought some of these um, uh, social media platforms might change the way they export data and then you need to change it. So now it's editable at a drop of a hat. Uh, the Google data is the only one you really need to think about. How, how Do you want to change it every month or do you just want to keep all the data in? Google is fortunate because you can get back a year's worth of data. So um, even if you do kind of, mess it up you can just clear the data put it to use current only data go back a year get all the data and put it in once and it's done where some of these ones won't let you go back a year so i hope that that all makes sense um yeah that's the link back to this demo video so yeah i hope that makes sense i really do uh, hopefully when we go through the other tabs if that's not if you're not 100 clear it will hopefully make sense because i will readdress it again as i said in the data input tab but that's the intro and setup. That's the general explanation for the spreadsheet. Do have a look at the other videos for each of the different pages. And uh, yeah, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye.